Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Daydreams. Welcome back to the channel for another video here in Revenge of the Sultans. So, guys, I needed to do a Revenge of the Sultans video for you. I haven't done one here in like three or four days, but I, I'm i unable to go out and attack anyone right this second. I'm about to do some upgrades and stuff. So, let's go ahead and take a look at the middle here. The throne starts in about a day and a half. And I want to get you, I just want to do a prediction video, guys. Here are the Alliance Power Rankings. I want you to guess who's going to win the. The throne war so you got pyt bsq lok tbh a and d that's your top five anyone outside top five is you know that's like a second alliance right there so you've got the turks the iranians us the english in this kingdom are split up tbh and lok used to be together long story there then you got a and d uh there's some more turks and then you got some more um Iranians and Turks as I'm telling you this is by far the hardest uh, Mobile war game out there and I've played them pretty much all and this by far has the hardest competition because you just have So many of um, you know each culture of people and they're usually all stick together So it's pretty crazy guys. Do you think do you think we're gonna be able to overcome it? Who do you think is going to win now? I don't know I've talked to very few people about you know what we should you know who we should work with what we should do but i would tell you tell you this much whatever team that we do decide to help is probably going to be the team that wins it because you know the lines have pretty much already been drawn in the sand between like all these alliances so you know i don't have any real solid solid relationship with any of them to be completely honest none that i talk to every day and stuff so you know the ones that we decide to help are probably going to be the ones that that win it or who knows we might even go for it ourselves but uh, Rip don't have his level 30 yet. Although he's just let me show you the okay. That's the Alliance power rankings Let's go to Lord ranking Lord power ranking Ripcord is by far the strongest castle in the kingdom. He's got the best like, you know Best science in the kingdom his equipment is out of control everything of his castle is very strong But since he did focus on all of his you know uh, Science and everything, you know, you can see castle levels. He's at level 29 and uh, BSQ and A and D both have a uh, Citadel one castle already, and then TBH and PYT each have a. Um, so four of the top five alliances right there all have a level thirty or up. And then we've got we ourselves have a uh, level twenty nine. So things are pretty interesting. It should be a fun from our regardless of um, our role in the in the throne. Uh, I will stream it and record it. I'll probably stream it on a delay so you guys can watch the battle and everything unfold Like I said, it's in a day and eight hours, which is just awful timing to be honest. It's at like six I don't know why Rise of the Kings and Revenge of Sultans have the first throne wars at like literally like 6 or 7 a.m. Eastern time USA time. It's just absolutely ridiculous, but you know regardless I'll be up to uh, stream it and record it so let me know your guys' predictions in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Two more makes your mark. Smash the thumbs up button before you get out of here. And I'll see you guys in the next one. We should be class of 28 by the time you see um, this throne war. So I'll see you guys there. Bye.